Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Deus Ex, The Fall. We are now in the maintenance area of the strange building on our way to assassinate a target. And it looks like we have a robot patrol. Yeah, I, I will purchase Weapons, an EMP items, grenade. I'm happy to do that. Alright, for God's sake. I've already done this. Just let me do it. Okay. There. Now, where's my friend the robot? Ah, oh, there you are. Beautiful. Another energy bar, I like that. I'll give myself a little save, too. Man, enemies just disappearing once you take them down is kind of dumb, but it's really great for my not getting caught. Neuropazine withdrawal. Neuropazine, or Nupaz, is a drug manufactured by VersaLife. It helps prevent Darrow Deficiency Syndrome, a condition caused due to buildup of scar tissue that can block electrical signals between augmentation electrodes and human tissue that can ultimately lead to rejection. Unlike non-cybernetic implants, which can be made from hypoallergenic materials, there is a requirement for any cybernetic augmentation that will feel and can be moved by the mind to have a neuroprosthetic junction. In essence, this is a biochip located within the brain to act as the interference between body and machine. The main problem with implanting the biochip is that it causes tissue to build up around the junction, causing nerve scars that disrupt the integrity of the neuroprosthetic junction, causing rejection syndrome, also known as Dar Darrow Deficiency Syndrome, DDS. Neuropathy is available by prescription only in weekly doses, prescription only, and weekly doses are required to prevent the disruption of the junction. Although it is not produced with especially rare materials, its distribution is heavily monitored. Freaking verse alive, man. First the original Deus Ex and now this. This has been conspiratorial since the beginning. A oh, free AMP, hell yeah. Stand by. Sorry. I know Kontarski wanted to install that sentry robot thing, but it scares me to death. I'm sitting there quietly watching the match when it turns to look at me and just sits there staring at me for an hour. Creeps me out, man. I've stashed an EMP grenade by the door just in case it decides to rise up against humanity. That'll teach you his boss. No kidding. Hi, Gray. We're coming to you. Isolate and neutralize the target. ID file? I got a turntable mod? What? I guess you can unlock concept stuff? That's awesome. I've never known Deus Ex to do that, but that's pretty cool. Also, I like how you don't have a regular inventory system. Less realistic, but at the same time... It allows me to, uh, pull some hijinks, like having way too much inventory stuff. Am I just good? I can just go? Yeah, I think I'm in good shape, actually. And this guy won't see him because enemies are video games. Or, you know. He saw him as he was disintegrating, which is kind of cheesy, but alright. Goes to where the body was. But there is no body. How will you know? How can you be sure? Where are you going, buddy? You don't even know that there was a body anymore. He's gone, just like you're gonna be in a couple seconds. Oh yeah, buddy. Just keep on walking. <laughs> alarm, what alarm? I didn't see any alarm. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. If you don't want to hack a locked door, you can try entering a passcode in- I do want to hack, but we'll see. Trust me when I say this, Mikhail's being paranoid. Nobody's after him. The security measures are just to keep his mind at ease. That being said, do keep a close watch. Can I do this? No. Do keep a close watch on him. He may be suicidal or do something stupid. If he locks himself away for too long- Hey, 0451, baby! First code in Deus Ex. 
First code in Deus Ex Human Revolution. Oh man. So get him out for his own good. If kantarsky has been telling anyone who will listen that there are agents actively trying to eliminate him, the younger guy take it seriously. With everyone else, I think we're getting into a situation of the boy who cried wolf. Do you believe there's anything to the three these stories, or is MK just delusional? Yeah, how about that, uh, how about that Praxis action, huh? Pra pra praxis action, yeah. So I do have a Praxis point, so, yeah, you know what, I should probably hack, like, upgrade hack rather than upgrade anything else. I don't want Fortify. Social is fantastic. Cloaking is fantastic. This is really fantastic. But just an extra energy cell, I'd rather have speeds up the recharge, to be honest. I only need one cell. Decreases the chance of detection. Well, let, let, let's see Let's see what we need here. It, it does say hacking, you know, level 1, so I can hack this, but at the same time, I should upgrade my hacking. But how? Do I, do I only go up to level 3? Is that what's happening here? Legs, back. Multiple takedown is amazing. I would like that too. It would be convenient and it would give me more experience points. But again, that hacking. Yeah, punching things. Move heavier objects. Recoil. Break through walls. Armor. Cloaking. Again, the hacking. I don't want fortify... Vasily, you fucking guys have knocked on my door three times tonight. I just want to remind you all that we are under lockdown. This means that I am not to be distract disturbed for any reason, and my door is to remain locked at all times. I do not need food. I do not need to be checked on. I just need you to stay alert. I understand perfectly. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Ooh, scary. All right, leveling up. So I can level up my stealth hacking, which will make it easier to hack, which is actually quite nice. But then there's the matter of... I can't buy that yet, but speeds up my energy recovery, which is just amazing. That's also amazing. And what's this? Oh, being able to hack higher and higher terminals. Yes, please. Upgrade. That's what I want. Juggernaut Collective. The Juggernaut Collective is a global cyber terrorist group, most likely held led by the mysterious hacker known only as Yanis, or the Gang of Five, GO5, a collection of faceless hackers. The organization is directly responsible for bankrupting two Fortune 500 companies, crashing the Syrian intelligence agency's mainframe, and bringing the Seattle traffic grid to a standstill. The organization has found its way onto the NSA's most wanted list. They have close ties with the. Oh, the NSF, baby, New Sons of Freedom an anti-government militant group operating in the United States. The NSF believes that the rise of augmentations is being used by world governments to create super soldiers to the police and ultimately control the people. Juggernaut and NSF share many of these beliefs. Intriguing. More NSF, please. Pistol ammo. I should probably start selling some of this ammo. It's getting ridiculous. It's not like I have a use for it. I could just keep selling and buying more Praxis kits. If you don't want to hack a locked door. Right, right, right. And here's the uh, the thing for it, the pocket secretary for 0451. Let's hack it because I can. Um, right. Oh, I gotta really work my way through to this one. Oh no, it caught me. I better hurry. Thank you. Now, yeah, can I just sell stuff? Because if I can sell, that'd be amazing. I don't know if I'm allowed to sell, though. Maybe not. I could sell items, though, right? I could buy. Is there, is there no selling? I want to buy stuff. I don't have enough for a Praxis kit. And what is this? Just healing? And what is this? A revive pack?
wow, I could just respawn without taking a death. It's crazy. Yeah, all this weapon. Like, if I could sell, I would make a freaking killing. It's a damn shame I can't. Please, please, please. Not cool. Selling stuff would just, like, honestly break the game in my favor. You can gain new abilities at any time by using Praxis software. Yeah, the cloaking system I could just walk through. But you I can already... Gain new abilities at... Yeah, I don't know if I can unlock a new ability, unless it's just giving it to me. Can I just do that? I do have enough Praxis points. I guess the game just gave them to me. Holy crap, good thing I didn't buy that. Oh, I signed to a quick slot, eh? Okay. All right, so how do I do this? Active augmentations are assigned to- Uh-huh. F, okay. So in that case, well. I say. So in that case, that means that I can do this. How do I, like, unequip things from my- like this, the Praxis? Yeah, how do I unequip this stuff? There. absolutely do not need you. Alright, and then press F to activate cloaking. Is there a way I could shut down the lasers? No. Whoa. Oh, there's nothing in there. I almost, I almost ruined my day. That's better. There we go. That eats up juice like you wouldn't believe. As you can see, that was almost half a battery. Just for that. Looks like that robot's going to activate. You know, I'm actually curious. Ha ha ha! I'm sorry, game. Was I a little too smart for you? Oh my god, is this the guy? Don't move. Please, you must not stop me. He's here to kill you, Mikhail. You told me I would have more time. Please, I have to finish what I started or- Touch that console and it'll be the last thing you ever do, Minister. Mikhail, this is bigger than you. We need the data on the killing floor and the tyrants. You must complete the upload. That's enough from you, pal. No. No, not yet. It's over. You're not here to arrest me. You're not a policeman. What authority do you have? Please, I beg of you, do not kill me. I only did what I thought was right. This man is not a criminal. You cannot judge him. Save it. You're part of a global terror network. The people you sold out to are responsible for the deaths of my men. Operation Rainbird. You know that name? You know what happened out there? That was my squad you sacrificed. They were soldiers, doing their jobs. It wasn't even their damn war, but you gave us up to the enemy. You're going to answer for what you've done. Are you watching this? Because we're coming for you next. No, 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 that's not true. I'm not a terrorist. I, I've never even heard of this Operation Rainbird. Please, Janus, help me. Do you know what you are doing, mercenary? Do you know what master you serve? You are being lied to. They cannot afford to have you learn the truth. They are using your desire for revenge to control you. Janice is right. I don't know anything about your men. You must believe me. I do not want to die. Well, I'm a nice guy. How do I... Okay. I won't kill you. But you're coming with me. And you're gonna tell me everything. Green light. Please. I do not want to Target has been terminated. All units, exfiltrate now. Well, that was a crazy turn of events. The tyrants Frick and the, the men holding their leash don't seek justice. They want control. Absolute control. 
and they use every tool available to them. Manipulation, lies, assassination. How did you find out that Namir was lying to you about Kontarsky and Operation Rainbird? After Moscow, I knew something was wrong. I started looking where I wasn't supposed to. The tyrants operate from a mobile base, a jetliner fitted with stealth gear. That's where I found the intel, on Namir's computer. What did you find, Ben? It's really important. Try to remember every detail you can. We were flying at night, across the North Atlantic. We were in the middle of a storm. Yep, Deus Ex is big on exploration. I waited until the debrief was complete, made sure the others were out of the way. I took the opportunity to look around. I'm going to take the opportunity to look around. Modern Warrior Mag. Advancements in firearm technology means that the modern warrior's weapons are more compact, more customizable, and more reliable than ever before. The ubiquitous 10mm pistol comes in many variants according to region and organization, but all variants maintain the same basic characteristics and, more importantly, are compatible with the same set of attachments and upgrades. The most common attachments include the laser sight, silencer, and armor-piercing modification. While the laser sight is a popular cosmetic improvement, the silencer is a serious tool for stealth agents and assassins, and the armor-piercing mod is popular among criminals who are more likely to face heavily armored law enforcement agents. Ben, I want to welcome you to the Tyrants. As I stated when we met during your recuperation at the SAF hospital, I will provide you every resource at my disposal to help uncover those responsible for the death of your team's six members during Operation Rainbird. I want them brought to justice as much as you do. The Tyrants are truly the best of the best. You'll find that, since we don't operate according to the standards of most special ops groups, we're able to work quickly and efficiently. Joining us also means your AUGs can be quickly upgraded through the use of Praxis software. You know better than anyone the value in this. It's a luxury only afford to the finest, fittest agents, and will enable you to get up to speed with the rest of your team members. Namir. Yeah, he's not kidding. Anything else? Because remember, there's all sorts of stuff you could look at in the first room of Human Revolution, but I'm thinking no. I guess it's just basic pickup here. <laughs> That's pretty cool, flying through a, a rainstorm. Alright, let's go. Oh, hey. Praxis Software. Congratulations on your recent mechanical augmentations. It is common for new augmentation features to be locked after installation so the body doesn't get overwhelmed and reject it. Rejection of augmentation is caused by an overwhelmed nervous system that leads to a faster rate of glial tissue buildup, which no dose of neuropazine can counter. Traditionally, these features are unlocked only through prolonged use, allowing the body to adjust slowly to the features. Praxis kits, which are, distrib which are distributed mainly from limb clinics, allow the system to be bypassed manually, releasing new features via the user's own free will in a shorter time frame. The method is usually not an option for most users. However, those patients whose body accepts... whose bodies accept... The augmentations with greater ease can use Praxis kits to advance the process without prolonged use of the augmentation. The cost of these kits are fairly high, making them prohibitive to most augmented patients. Haha, <laughs> time to take stuff. Bronski. As you know, after Joe Wexler's unfortunate death, I have been actively seeking his replacement. I know that you've read over the dossier on Ben Saxon and reviewed all of his fitness reports. Ben's a former member of the UK's elite special air service and has served Bell Tower. Oh, Bell Tower, great. As team leader on a number of ops, I believe you'll agree that Ben Saxon will be a fine addition to the team. You can be assured that Saxon will be fully committed to the tyrants. If you have any question or any information, questions or any information that might be relevant, please let me know. Nemir. Oh man, Nemir seems like such a nice guy. We got family photos here. Auto secretary. Interesting. Namir has charisma. Namir of from Gunther Herman? What? 
Okay. Namir, I'll be out of work on Medley for next m Ah, they still have the broken English. Oh my god. Medliv for next month, maybe two. My role as human target practice backstop has taken its toll. I'm getting to get my augs completely redone. Oh, he's still asking for the skull gun! He's been asking for the skull gun since this time. He's still asking for it in freaking Deus Ex 1. Shit. I almost forgot to tell you. The new passcode to the op room, 0101. I'll get you an update after my procedures are done. Oh, man. This makes me happy. New recruits. As you know, after Joe Wexler's unfortunate death from the Mirabrowski. Oh, we read that. Okay, we read that. That's awesome. Oh my god. Fan service out the ass, but like, oh, I ate that right up. Oh man, that feels good. Oh god, Barrett, I'll be back. Nah, okay, let's do it. Hey, bro. You got sports. You got Guns Blazing magazine. Barrett. No offense, mate, but next time, I'll jump when I damn well want to. What, you afraid of heights, tough guy? I guess you're gun-shy too, huh? Oh, yeah, because I didn't shoot the assassin. I'm not going to be a dick. Well... Ooh, I, uh... I'll, I'll dismiss that. I'm not going to give him crap. As I like your company, I don't have time to chat. Namir wants me to follow up on the debrief with him. Better not keep the boss waiting, then. What a scary guy. He is huge. Yeah, I'm not gonna challenge him. That's don't don't challenge freaking Barrett. Are you kidding me? Wow, this will be a short conversation. Very short. Glass shield cloaking system. It's composed of a grid of fine induction wires connected to a deep tissue control implants, typically located in the back of rib cage, which in turn is linked to the brain. The matrix can be layered directly beneath the surface of the epidermis or over the plating of cybernetic limbs. When activated, it generates a tuned, fixed focus electromagnetic field that temporarily adjusts the frequency of EM radiation around the user. The net effect is a cloak of invisibility, which appears near perfect. More importantly, I'm getting experience for this. That's about what I thought. Y yup. Wow, there's not even an option. That was the talk. Whoa, whoa. Got her assassin's knives in there. Look at that. My god, she's a badass. I wonder what she's reading. got into the control center and forced access to Namir's computer. He used a program called the Killing Floor to get his orders. Let's go anywhere but there. Bathroom. There's just nothing to do in the bathroom. This looks like it has stuff for me. Oh, hell yeah, auto hack. Oh, 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 oh. Who are you? Are you Bell Tower? I have a far wider remit than Bell Tower associates. You wouldn't know the name of my crew. And that's exactly how we like it to be. I suppose you could call me a freelancer if you really felt the need to have a label. We share a similar past, you and I. Both of us have worked under, shall we say, special conditions for our respective homelands. I wonder, would you allow me to make an observation? Feel free. You're wasting your potential here. Bell Tower offers a good career for men like us. I don't dispute that. But the chance to really accomplish something, to make a difference, to bring order to a chaotic world, Bell Tower can't do that. My god, Nimir. You are quite the charmer. Namir to Barrett. Bull, as always, your role in the raid on the Seraph Industries Lab was crucial for its success. Hopefully over the next year I can approve some R&R &R for you. Keep it up. Oh, wow. So this took place after the very beginning of Human Revolution, I guess. Crazy. 
More and more intrigue. So I guess we've already kicked Jensen's ass, and nobody knows that I've been in part of this group. Alright. So this is the 0101, or I could just not do that. Okay, I better hurry once I get this started. This is this is actually going to be a major problem. Wow. The odds of not setting that off are freaking ridiculous. Uh, that sets it off, though. Okay. Access granted. Yay. Orders from where? Nothing else here. I'm not sure, but I found the recon report for Operation Rainbird. Two versions of it. Oof. One which said our flight path was safe, clear of drone activity, and another which told the truth. We were sent straight into a kill zone. Kataski had nothing to do with it. So you and I have had extensive conversations about replacing Joe Wexler. I'm not sure who ultimately approved Rainbird, and at this point it really doesn't matter. I reviewed the AA reports from Operation Rainbird, and if this is how we need to recruit Saxon to replace Wexler, then so be it. Obviously, keeping Ben in the dark should be of the highest priority. You know how close the Team 6 guys can get, especially when they saved each other's asses a few times. We've buried the AA reports. I've reviewed the dossier on Saxon, and I do agree that he'll make a great addition to the team. Oh boy. This is going to be unpleasant. set you up. I had to find Amir to find out. You're trying to recruit me. I read the after action report on the failure of Operation Rainbird. You survived against very long odds, Mr. Saxon. I'm quite impressed. I could use someone with your skill set. I find myself a man down after a recent incident and you make a good candidate. Interesting. Maybe if you told me who the hell you are. I told you. The name drive me. <laughs> I am Yaron Namir. Field commander of a non-aligned special operations unit known as the Tyrants. We are an elite, independent, self-financing group dedicated to maintaining global stability through covert means. A rogue cell. Tyrants. That name doesn't exactly have the ring of righteousness to it. Yeah, right? I beg to differ. The true meaning of the word stems from the Greek Turanos. It was only later the name gathered its negative connotations. Oh, clever. In its original form, the term describes those who take power by their own means instead of being awarded it through birthright or elective. That is what we do, Mr. Saxon. We take power from those who abuse it. We restore the balance out of the goodness of your heart. Bill Tower's failures cost you the lives of the men and women in your unit. Are you really ready to go back to them, knowing that? Be honest with me, Mr. Saxon. Are you ever going to trust your employers again? I have a responsibility. I signed a contract. One that is near to end. We can deal with that if only a piece of paper is stopping you. Believe me, I can make that go away. Oh, wow. This guy won't come again. And if you decide to go looking for us after the fact, I warn you, there will be consequences. We can give you what you need, Ben. The tyrants help their own. Man, he's good. Oh boy. This gonna be good. you to tell me the truth about Operation Rainbird. Kontarski was never involved, was he? You used me to kill him. You're a very good soldier, Ben, but there's something you lack. Enlighten me. You can't see where the line is. You don't know how to compartmentalize yourself. You're not willing to make that sacrifice. That's what we have to do. Put up walls around the parts of our souls we want to keep sacrosanct. Barriers 
to protect our humanity. We're killers, Ben. It's what we're best at. Is that what you do? You're one man in here with us. Out there, you're someone else. An assassin, a liar. That's not something to be proud of. That's a pattern of psychosis. You're very good at what you do, Ben. But inside, you're weak. You can't let go. I thought that might change after what happened in Australia. I had hopes. You were part of that. I want you to think very carefully about what you say next. Because this is the most important choice you will ever make. What happened in Moscow? That was not a test of your character or your loyalty. This is the test, Ben. This is what will define who you are and your future with the tyrants. Do you understand? I need to know if you can be like me. Like the rest of us. Like you. You don't hide your humanity, Namir. You just tell yourself you do. But you lost it a long time ago. You and Barrett, Fedorova and the others. You're just a weapon that thinks like a man. That's a shame. I really wanted you to understand. I hate to see great potential wasted. Tell me what you did. I want the truth. I wish I could make it clear how lucky you are, Ben. Recruitment into the tyrants is not a reward that just anyone is given. You were on our radar for a long time before I came to you in Australia. I gave you the opportunity to be something greater. The falsified mission data. You had it substituted for the real thing. How? We have assets inside the Bell Tower Corporation. It wasn't difficult. Those men in your squad, they were a hindrance to you. They had to be sacrificed. It was your trial by fire. If you had perished there in the desert alongside them, then you had no place with us. But if you came out alone... I tried to save him. Sam Duarte. I could have saved his life. He was expendable. They all were. I gave the order to sabotage Rainbird because I needed to know if you were willing to live, Ben. If you had the courage to survive. You heartless fucking bastard. Survivor's guilt. The psychological profile said that was all I needed to control you. But these things are so hard to determine. It just, we're done. Huh. I'm pleased. I could prove you wrong. Oh, wow. clever way to open the game. It took me two installments, but, you know, that's a pretty clever credit sequence. I like this. It reminds me of the tanker in uh, Metal Gear Solid. Like, you play the whole mission and then the real game starts. I can get behind this. Alright. The fall from the jetliner really did a number on your neuro hub. I can't believe I had to reconfigure it. All the progress you've made with your augmentations. <laughs> Lost. Of course. I'll be fine. I've already started relearning the basics. I'll be using my augmentations at full strength in no time. I suppose so. Still, it's a miracle that you survived. You and me both. You did as much to hurt them as I did. But they're still looking for us. And the moment we stick our heads up, we'll be spotted. They're after us because they're afraid of what we know. We can expose them, Ben. We can get justice, not just revenge. I know that, Luke. What's your plan? We've got pieces of the puzzle. We just need to put them back together. Think back to what you found on the plane. All right, Australia. Operation Rainbird went down in Queensland. It was a strike mission, part of the Australian oil conflict. And Namir was there to pull you out of the ashes. Exactly. He had everything in place. So we know the tyrants have major assets in Australia. That's a start. I've been scanning the net, looking at Glass Curtain, conspiracy crew, all the activist groups. They talk about the tyrants. They have profiles, but no one takes them seriously. You think people will listen to us? Ben Saxon broke down squatting. Anna Kelso, federal agent turned fugitive. There's always someone who will 
listen. <laughs> Anna! Damn it! Where are your meds? Where's the neuropathy? Ben! Help me. The seizures. I can't. Those are just painkillers. I need the meds. Oh, we can still do that. Returning now to our interview with noted human augmentation. I do love stuff like this because you really can get a lot of plot just by listening to these. Welcome to Costa Rica. We're so happy you decided to spend your vacation in beautiful Costa Rica, the ideal tropical paradise for any vacation. Life is good here. Costa Rica is a friendly, democratic, and peaceful country. Here are some interesting facts about the country. We have some of the best sports fishing in the world. Go out for sailfish, marlin, or tuna on the Pacific side, or cast out for big tarpon and snook on the Caribbean side. Isn't it 1R2Bs for a Caribbean? Hmm. Costa Rica welcomes over 8 million foreign visitors each year. Costa Rica makes up only 0.03% of the world's land mass, but it contains 9% of the world's biodiversity. It's home to the Poas Volcano, which has erupted 57 times since 1828. Well, I'm not taking this way out, obviously. Okay, that's where I get her meds or whatever. When I met Ben, he had just defected from the tyrants. Killers without principles or compunction. They were assassins. Working for some mysterious power. We cannot distribute neuropathy anonymously online. No but we have facilities. At this point, they if we have a shortage, you may be able to register for a trial of a safe alternative to neuropathy. That sucks. He wasn't really one of them. He was There's a shortage. A we reached out to neuropathy. Money's no limitation for us. I'm looking to get 100 Praxis kits. Money's no object. Anon. Yeah, and Robinson's like, nope. Broken system, man. Withdrawal. Yeah, we have not read this. No, we have. We have. Alright, so I gotta get an Robinson. Yeah, we understand your need, but we can't distribute it anonymously online. From Duarte to Ben Saxon. J. Duarte? So what is this? Sam's... Relative? Sorry about recent problems. We're sending our prayers and hope you're recovering. You're welcome in our home for as long as you need it. Rest assured that we won't tell anyone that you're there. The neighbors have always valued and maintained our privacy and you can expect to be safe there. That being said, I wouldn't stray too far from home. There's plenty to eat. The computer network's secure and you shouldn't have any problems with anything, but if you do, please let me know. It's been hard on us since Sam died and I know it's been tough for you as well. That guilt is not yours to carry around. Guys in your position understand the risks involved. We know you did everything you could to keep our son safe. There it is. Godspeed, J. Duarte. My approach was always direct. I was an agent, and there's no room for feelings when you have a gun pointed at you. But there was a moment after the Logan Circle event. I was shot. They told me Matt was dead. I would have cried right then and there if they hadn't taken my eyes. God, that's rough. Yeah, I didn't mention this before, but have you seen her eyes? Because she has, like, electronic eyes, and they're amazing. Praxis software. Alright, I guess it's high time I actually did what I'm supposed to do. In a minute. Really? Really? What? Credits? I'm sorry I'm straying, but what the hell is this? Oh my god. Hacking stuff. Hacking stuff. I keep having nightmares. Money. I see ghosts of all the men who died under my watch. Sometimes I see Sam in the darkness. Chained, moaning, tearing at his orcs. He was a friend. I couldn't tell his family what happened. Not all of it. Hell, should have been me who died, not him. Yeah, survivor's guilt, man. Secret room. We just have that. Neuropazine, got it. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Agent Matt Ryan. Ben, I can't do this while you're here. 
Well, just go in the other room or something. Right. So, Agent Ryan, Matt, he wasn't just another field agent. Not to me. He was... The tyrants gunned him down at Logan Circle. I lost him. I guess that's part of the reason I asked Ben to stay with me. I can't lose him like I lost Matt. An ID file. Ah, model unlocked. Yay! Secretary, from glass curtain to Kay. Kel, you are different because you seek the truth. Not the lies and misdirection that dribble from the mouths of our politicians, celebrities, and news corporations. They want to dominate your mind with sex, violence, and greed. Anything to keep your passive and docile. Anything to get you to stop asking questions. They are the generals and majors of info war. And when division, diversion doesn't work, the fear tactics begin. Intimidation, coercion, conspiracy. Case in point, one of our loyal contributors in Australia, Casey Bradshaw, was an outspoken investigative journalist who uncovered proof of what the Aum Shinriko... Shinrikyo cultists were doing in the Australian desert, building and testing a nuclear weapon. Some people didn't like the implication that the Australian's government had been so incompetent, even complicit, with nuclear proliferation as far back as the 1990s. So it was with deep sadness, but not surprise, that I learned of Casey's tragic death this week. The official story is that she is just another civilian casualty in the Australian Civil War, but that's a little too convenient for those who've been trying to snuff her out for years. Please support us. Keep Glass Curtain alive. Anonymous donations accepted via tipster. Great. This is Eliza Kazan, reporting live from Vegas. All right. To the drug Sorry, I'm late. Thanks. It's my fault. Look at those eyes. I waited too long between doses. And I know why. We're almost out. Without a supply of new pods, this will happen more often. Our augmentations will malfunction. Janice is supposed to find us a new source, right? I don't trust anyone else. I haven't spoken to our hacker friend in months. Then I guess we might have to tough it out for a while. No, I'm not going to put you at risk. I'll contact Janice now. I really wanted to continue more of the clue conversation. <laughs> you leveled up. More more conversation okay well man dies from a mysterious tuberculosis strain excuse me all right so increase the hacking some more i have four praxis points excuse me um there i'm a freaking hacking master that's basically all i need now I'm just gonna work on battery stuff and maybe the double takedown thing. Suddenly, just level five. I can just do that. Sunbran, all right. I think at this point I'm good to go. And not out here, right? Yeah. Downstairs. So I guess I had to find this little secret area. Oh. Janice, are you out there? Hello, Benjamin. It's been a while. Are you and Miss Kelso safe? For now. But Anna's sick. I mean, we both are. We're running out of neuropazine. You're not the only ones. The neuropazine shortage is getting worse. Augmented people everywhere are suffering. Can you help us? It might be time to start looking for alternatives, Benjamin. An alternative to neuropathy. I don't have any sources that can supply you directly. The risk of exposure is too great. You're gonna have to pay a visit to the doctor. I can't go to a limb clinic. If I use any official channels, they'll track me down, and Anna and I will be on the run again. I understand that. I have a contact for you. An underground doctor who operates in Panama City. His name is Alvarez Araujo. He may be able to help. I'm gonna need some equipment. Tell me about the guy. I'm gonna need to upgrade my augmentations. Well, let's talk about the guy. Tell me about this guy, Alvarez. Can I trust him? His past is shady. He used to be a doctor, but now he operates in the slums. 
It seems he has something of an altruistic streak. The poor and desperate turn to him when they can't get help elsewhere. I know how they feel. All right, augmentation. I may need to upgrade my augmentations. I don't know what kind of trouble I might get into out there. You'll need a Praxis kit for that. But your mechanical augmentations can be enhanced at any time if you have one. And you won't have to blow your cover visiting a limb clinic for an upgrade. Good. Panama's a dangerous place. I'm gonna need some equipment, some protection if I'm going there. The city is rife with black market contacts. Providing you have the money, They'll be happy to sell you what you want, and it won't be traced back to you. So that justifies basically how I upgrade without going to a limb clinic, and so that justifies how I can buy things magically. <laughs> okay, I can take the maglev line straight into the city, and then I'll track down our man. Thank you, Janice, for everything. You'll pay me back one day. People always do. Good luck, Benjamin. All right. Now about that upgrading, I need... Okay, 800 I guess. So I'll talk to Anna and then that'll be, that'll be it I believe. Oh, she's just in here now. So what did he, or she, um, I mean, what did Janice say? I'm gonna see a contact in Panama City. The maglev train leaves in an hour. You're going out there? I should come with you. No, it's too risky for us to go out together. You stay here, stay safe. This place is off the grid, no one knows about it. You know me. I'm not exactly good at doing nothing. Then don't. You've still got contacts you trust, right? Use them. See what you can dig up about Namir and the tyrants. And what about you? Who's gonna keep you safe if I'm not around? Don't worry. I'll keep a low profile, be discreet, and only use force when necessary. All right, Ben. Stay in contact on the info link. Tell me what you see out there, any clues you find. I'll do the same from this end. And promise me one thing. Name it. Don't get yourself killed. We've only got each other now. You got it. There's 250 experience points just for that, and now I have a sweet, sweet stun gun. Works for me. And at long last, there's the exit. But for now, I shall stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We completed the prologue, and we got up to date with what's actually happening now. The flashback is over. The real plot begins. It looks like we're going to be against Namir. That's my assumption. The tyrants. So I wonder if we're going to fight them. There's no way we're killing them. That's Adam Jensen's job. But who knows? Maybe we'll get into a scuffle or two. For now, though, we need some neuropazine. Until next time, everyone.